Good morning, it's Cam here. Hey, imagine for a minute that Sunday at the Super Bowl, where you've got the Rams and the Bengals playing, before the game starts, suddenly there's an announcement. All fans, just so you know, the Rams have won the Super Bowl. You'd be like, what? What do you mean they've won? We haven't even played the game. Well, the Rams have won because that is what we have Man, the edict, that's our edict. We have told you that the Rams have won. And you'd be like, whoa, okay, well, how, what are you basing this on? Well, we're basing it on the fact that the all the statistics of the Rams, of their players, of all everything else, are better than the statistics of the Bengals. And that's the reason. We, we've said so. They, they've won. It's over. So go home. Thanks for coming out. Uh, we'll keep the ticket sales, all that other stuff. And we really appreciate it. You'd be like, oh, this doesn't make any sense. You'd be looking at your the owner of the Bengals, the players, all the people. You'd be like, guys, speak up. What, what's going on here? But there's silence, deafening silence. They're going along with it too. They, they don't say a thing. And you're like, well, this is insanity. How, how could without you ever playing, uh, testing the players one and against each other, how would you know conclusively that that was the case? Well, because the owner of the Rams told you so. That's it. And that's sort of what we've gone through for the last two years with COVID. It's not that there's people that are anti this or anti that. The people are looking for the players to get on the field and play. So who are the players? Well, the players are the medical professionals, the doctors, the Dr. Fauci's, the, uh, you know, the uh, Bonnie Henry's of the world. We're looking for these people to get on the field and compete with the other side, like the Dr. Alexander's. Uh, the Dr. McCullough's, the Dr. Malone's. Uh, Dr. Alexander and his fellow doctors are in Ottawa today seeking to have a debate with the top three medical people with the federal government. What is wrong with that? We would not expect any less in sports. None of you who are fans of the Super Bowl would be satisfied if the owner of the Ram simply said, we win. It's a declaration. We said so. End of story. Because based on all the statistics, this is the outcome. You'd be like, that doesn't make any sense. So why are we willing to accept less when it comes to this? That's all the doctors like Alexander McCullough, people like myself are asking for. In the marketplace of ideas, if you are so confident, your side, your team, the people who are supported all of this for the last two years, the, poly the elected civil servants who've mandated these things, who've pushed for vaccinations, masking, all these things, show us the studies that you're basing this on. And not only just show us the studies, be willing to take questions. Questions do not equal a, a, you know, a dismissal of science. Questions are how we get to places. Questions is how we uncover the truth. That's right. Truth isn't what you say it is or what I say it is. It's what a debate, a discussion, a marketplace of ideas engaging back and forth arrives at a place. That's how we arrive there. And so the doctors like Dr. Alexander who are out in Ottawa today with his fellow doctors, that's all they're seeking. They're asking the elected civil servants to send their top medical people, sit at a table, show us what you're basing everything on. We'll show you what we've got and let's have a discussion and may the best ideas win. Kind of makes sense. We wouldn't accept it uh, in, in sports to be done that way. The Olympics are on right now. Imagine if a skier simply said, I'm the best, gold medalist, that's it. You'd be like, well, we haven't even gone down the hill yet. Based on the statistics, based on what I say, based on what I believe, I'm the best. Makes no sense. So for those of you who are of the mind that this is crazy, come on, what are you guys asking for? That's it. All the people are asking for, people that are the truckers, people like that. And I know the truckers are asking for mandates. Attend. I agree with all that. I'll even go one step back in my own world. I'll say, just sit down at the table. Convince me of your arguments with facts and data, facts and data that you're willing to have somebody question, to engage in discussion, be on the field, just like we would ask of the Super Bowl. So. If we wouldn't accept it in sports, in something as, and I wouldn't say trivial, I know people love sports, they love the Super Bowl, but that's not life and death. Why are we willing to accept less when it comes to that? That's the question.